Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, this is uh, ThinkPad E470. I'm trying to reinstall the Windows, but it seems, all right, hey ladies. I went to the boot menu. As you can see, this is bootable USB Windows 10, and that is top of the list. So let's say I wanna boot my system from that one. So what we normally do, we press enter, that it keeps coming back to the same page. I will show you how to resolve the issue. Okay, so first, make sure your machine is turned off. It's completely turned off now. And make sure your bootable USB is connected. Once it's connected, then press the power button and try to play with F1 and F2. One of them will definitely take you to F1 will take you to the BIOS screen. From here, we'll configure and hopefully this issue will be resolved. So first is first, go to configuration, check USB first, hit enter. As you can see, is enabled. Okay, all of them enabled for USB support, which is fine. Press escape, go back to security. From here, if you come back to the second one from the bottom, which is secure boot, hit enter as you can see this is disable might be your one is enabled make sure you put it on disable mode okay then again escape just to come out from this menu and then if you go to startup you can find there are few options which is called boot is the first one and boot or legacy support this is says uefi only and that's the reason I believe why it's not giving us option to reboot it from the bootable USB drive. Okay, so first before I change it, or let's change it anyway, I'm gonna do legacy only. And then I'm gonna get into boot by pressing enter. As you can see, it shows USB hard disk drive, which is Kingston Data Traveler on the top okay the problem is if you leave the usb one on the top so the setup will go to 100 percent then again when the system will reboot it will go back to the beginning again so it will never finish it will go to 99 percent 100 then comes back to one percent again you know so it's like that which is a kind of problem so to sort this out what you can do we can put it in the second in position or third does not matter okay this is the hard drive. I'm going to make it like fast choice. Let me show you how to do that. Okay. So we need to shift plus, as you can see now. And I'm going to save these changes by pressing F10. And then again, when it restart, while it restart, I'm going to click, keep pressing F12 just to get into boot menu straight away. Okay. Enter boot menu. All right. So from here, I'm going to choose USB directly. Now it should take us. If it doesn't, then we'll see what we can do. All right. So it says battery low. Let's connect the charger. All right. So now if I choose the USB boot, definitely it should work. If it doesn't, then we'll see if there is any mistake. Now let's check it out. Final test. Hit enter. Now you're gonna able to see the Windows logo, as you can see, okay. So that's the thing, how you can resolve your USB external boot for ThinkPad E470. Uh, this is a very nice uh, machine, you know, quite professional, as you can see here, and hard plastic and everything. Okay, so what we did, let me explain again, very briefly. So first, you need to get into BIOS by pressing F1 and then make sure you go to the USB mode make sure both of them enable then go to the security disable the secure boot and then boot type you need to choose by default that is only UEFI only you must need to change it to legacy and then if you save it make sure the first choice of boot you leave your hard drive or SSD whatever internal 
and then save it by pressing F10. The system will restart. As soon as it restart, keep pressing F12. This one will take you straight to the boot menu. And from the list, you can choose. As you've seen what I did, okay. So now you know what to do the next, but still I'm gonna show you for a couple of seconds. Okay, choose whatever you wanna choose for me, United Kingdom. Next, install now. All right, accept the terms and condition, hit next. And then custom install. Then we can delete everything. Okay, if you don't want, you can do whatever you like. I want to clean every single thing. I want to break all the partition. Okay. All right, then this is the one also need to be deleted. Partition. Also need to be deleted. Okay. okay, so I just want to keep only one partition. Okay, you can create new, but I don't want to do anything. Let the system take it by its own so hit next now the main process will progress on all right so that's how you need to resolve the issue for this machine i hope uh, you'd like this video if you do please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to support me and still if you have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i will try my best to reply as soon as possible once again thank you I hope I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.